If there's one thing you can do to improve your health and well being this new year, it's to avoid refined sugar or at least limit your intake. Refined sugar is processed from cane or beets and is added to many of our foods, many that you wouldn't even realize, like fast food salsa, for example. Most of the added sugar in our diet is from sugar sweetened beverages, but also breads and pastas. Sugar is very inflammatory to our bodies and can accelerate aging. One refined sugar worth mentioning is high fructose corn syrup. Fructose can only be metabolized or broken down by the liver and has been directly linked to fatty liver. High intake of fructose is associated with visceral adiposity. That's the increased fat or adipose tissue that develops right around the midsection. And when we develop this, it increases risk of insulin resistance, which increases your risk of type two diabetes and high blood pressure, and ultimately increasing our risk of heart disease and stroke. There are also conditions linked to sugar sensitivity. These include fatigue, anxiety, migraine headaches, and acne. So there are actual guidelines on the maximum amount of added sugar that is recommended in a day. For women, added sugar should be limited to six teaspoons per day, which equals about 25 grams. The average American consumes 17 teaspoons of added sugar per day. So about three times more than the maximum recommendation. Some of the conditions I commonly see that are linked to high sugar intake include painful periods due to inflammation, yeast infections due to disruption of the healthy bacteria in the vagina, hormonal imbalance in part due to that increase adipose tissue around the midsection leading to insulin resistance and PCOS. Sugar also disrupts our gut health, which impacts our hormonal balance as well. As an integrative OBGYN, I truly understand that food is medicine. It's so important to know what to eat and what not to eat. What we eat can either elevate our health or sabotage it. So I encourage you to really evaluate your diet ladies and get rid of the processed sugar in your lives. I hope this information has been helpful for you. Until the next time, in health, Dr. Shanae.